so with climate change, the fact and, and our obsession, or perhaps like having to hear it from from a celebrity before we we pay attention. Do you think that um, that is indicative of, of our society and that we need, you know, Emma Thompson to fly over on a plane mm. from from LA to Extinction Rebellion in London for for the rest of, of um, society to come on board? Well, th there is a real issue here. Um, I... Now, I'm not sure I would classify either of them. I know this sounds weird, but I'm not sure I would say either of them are strictly celebrities because yeah. I think a necessary but not sufficient condition of being a celebrity is that you have appeared in an advertisement. That, for me, puts people on the wrong side of the line mm. and they become a celebrity. Whereas, you know, a famous person... Attenborough or Emma Thompson, or so, I don't think they've appeared in adversaries. I don't know, maybe they have. But, but um, you know, famous people have always been with us. See, the peculiarity of our time is celebrity culture, which is absolutely hand in glove with the advertising and marketing industry. And that is, you know, this lethal combination of the, the way in which the media is now obsessed with spectacle as opposed to substance and the commercial imperative to sell us more and more and more stuff in order to expand profits and capital share, driving economic growth. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, we, there's always been an obsession with famous people, you know, whether it's kings and queens or um, conquering heroes or whoever it might be, um, 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 going back thousands of years. But it's reached preposterous proportions now and it's become a highly pernicious phenomenon with the, the intrinsic linkage of celebrity to, to advertising and the need to push stuff. And basically, celebrity is the mask the machine wears. So you know, if you are a company whose headquarters is a filing cabinet in Panama City, which occupies some nondescript office block in Bangkok and is selling um, some gizmo in the UK, um, you have no means of connecting emotionally with the people you're trying to sell to. Mm. And because the people you're trying to sell to are those with disposable income, and because those with disposable income, by definition, have already met their own needs, their, their fundamental needs, and probably their major wishes as well, the only way you're going to get them to part with your money is to manufacture desires which they didn't, weren't previously aware of. And you can't do that if you can't connect with them if you can't make that emotional connection with someone. So you need a mask. You need to, to, to pull a mask over the metal infrastructure. And that is the, the, the face of the celebrity that you're going to use in your marketing campaign. And the celebrity becomes your virtual neighbor. They become someone you think you know because you see them so often. You think they're your friend. They are not your friend. They are your enemy. They are the enemy of the whole Earth system. And what we've got to realise is that, you know, we, we've been treating celebrity culture as this harmless phenomenon for years, um, as if it's just something which happens separately to all the other systems. It is absolutely central to the system. It is, it is the, the, they are the shock troops of capitalism, celebrities. So, you know, I'd say that any young people stop following celebrities. Yes. They are destroying the planet. Mm.